Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to install these Hopkins replacement taillights. These are going to be a fully submergible taillight, so it's going to work great for your landscaping trailers like we have here, or if you have a jet ski trailer or a boat trailer that you need a replacement light for. These lights are going to come in a kit of two if you need two lights, or you can buy just the left or the right. Now the nice part about buying the kit of two taillights is that you're going to get this tester. This is going to plug into the four pole on your trailer and you're going to be able to see if all of your lights are working properly. The light housing itself is going to have a sturdy plastic construction and it'll have a rubber gasket around both the backlight and the side marker light to be able to help to keep water out. What's nice about this kit is that the left rear taillight is going to have an integrated white light underneath shining down on your license plate to make sure others can see your license plate while driving at night. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to get installed. And we're going to start by removing our taillights to get our new ones in place. And we'll take our white wire with our ring terminal on it, slide it over one of the studs on the back of our light. Now if your holes do not match up to the holes in your old light assembly, you may have to drill a new one. So we'll slide it in place and insert our nuts on the other side. Now we'll take a 7 16 socket and tighten them down. You want to make sure you're doing this with a tool and not with a drill because you don't want to risk breaking the light. You also don't want to tighten them too much is you may pull that stud through the back of the light. Now we're going to take our heat shrink butt connectors. These are sold separately. They're not included in your kit, so you might want to pick some of those up just so that you don't risk damaging your wiring while towing your trailer. This helps to keep out some of that dirt, debris, and water out of our connections. Now we'll take our black wire and run it to our factory brown and crimp it down. We'll take our red wire and connect it to the green factory wire. Now we can use a heat source to shrink down our butt connectors and then secure our wires out of the way. Once you have the one side buttoned up, you're ready to head to the other side and replace the light in the same way. We'll go ahead and test out our tail lights, our left turn signal, our brake lights, and our right turn signal. Well guys, with all that being said, that's going to do it for our look and installation of the Hopkins replacement tail lights.